Hey guys, Kat here. New drama has coming out. Nintendo has been forcing labor camps in the, its headquarters in Washington, USA. So we're going to be taking a look at this article, and we're going to react and see what's my thoughts on it. Join Glitchy Hub One UG Four, and let's get started. A union busting complaint has been recently filed with the La National Labor Relations Board, accused Nintendo of America and contract worker agency Aston Carter of surveillance, relation, and other unfair labor practices. According to four sources familiar with the incident, that complaint, first reported by Ansel, comes apart after a partner time employee spoke about unions in a business meeting and, and, and later fired mid-contract. In, in an unprecedented move, others are now speaking up against being disrespected and exploited of the, of the notoriously secretive Mario Maker. Now, I don't know why there's a secretary ma named Mario Maker. It makes absolutely no sense to have something, a secretary, named after a game. That really shows me the right, wrong way. And it makes me do do believe that this thing is something fake. Now, I don't, now I don't um, support abusive of workers and it makes like, I don't like Activision Blizzard. That sucks. But that last paragraph definitely t turned me the wrong way and making me think this is fake. Now, now this happened a lot of times. Cause you know the Jelly Bean one, the many many Minecraft Dream ones. This is go this is like bound to happen. There's like a, a lot of fake allegations up in here. But I think this one is also one of them. But that's my opinion. Anyways, we have more we have to talk about so let's talk about it the department meeting took place in february so it was said in a remark asking for general comment about unionization in the video games industry came during an open question and answer period at then months later Vadio games became the first studio in america to to unionize in unionizing qa testers at Activision called the publisher to voluntarily recognize them. The employee was fired shortly after allegedly violating the NDAA in a comment of, in social media. Nintendo responds with, We are aware of this claim, which was filed within the National Labor Relations Board by a contractor with, which was previously terminated for the pre-disclosure of confidential information for no other reason. Nintendo is not aware of any attempts to unionize or related activity to intends to cooperate with the investigation by an and then we have some other statements that we don't care about. Switch Force has made an absolute great, great video about the situation. I recommend you checking it out, but I'm just gonna lose a few clips of it. He stated that 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 it hap that reforms happened when in 2015, near the time where Iwata died. So let's take a look at that clip. Now that does not sound like the fun Nintendo I know and love. And apparently these changes started happening in 2015, right around the death of Satoru Iwata, glorious CEO and a guy that seemed to really care so much. This is around the time of the Wii U, which was not a good time for Nintendo. And that's where things started, I guess, to change. Excellent point, Switch Force. No, no, it is up to you of what you dig on the situation. I just don't really know. I just thought it was fake at first, but now, but now Switch Force has changed my idea of it. I'm just gonna say neutral of it. I'm just gonna get some popcorn and you know enjoying the show <laughs> <laughs> 